Enes Kanter grew up in Turkey, came to this country, and wound up in the NBA. Just a few hours ago, he became an American citizen. To mark the occasion, he has legally changed his name. His new name is Enes Kanter Freedom. Enes Kanter Freedom plays for the Boston Celtics, and he joins us tonight. Enes, Mr. Freedom, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on becoming a citizen. Tell us why you've done this, why you've become a citizen and changed your name. Thanks for having me, Mr. Carlson. You know, I think I can just easily say that this is the greatest day in my life. You know, it was my dream the first day, uh, first day I stepped in, uh, into America. And you know, it, after I get my uh, green card, obviously it's been a rough six years because Turkish government revoked my passport and put my name on Interpol list. Um, but I think, you know, I wanted to do it because I remember first time I came to America, you know, one of my teammates, it was back in 2009, uh, one of my teammates criticized the president. And I turned around and I told him, I was like, dude, what are you doing? They're going to throw you in a jail. And he, and he told me, he started laughing and said, this is America. Don't worry about it. You are not in Turkey anymore. I was very shocked. But, um, you know, the reason I wanted to do it because this, you know, from day one, America gave me a home. Uh, American people opened their arms, gave me a warm wel uh, welcome. And uh, I wanted to do it because I wanted to uh, call somewhere where I can feel like this is my home now. And uh, it is the greatest feeling uh, that I ever had. Oh, that's just wonderful. I wish, I wish we had so many more people like you who are as grateful to be here as you clearly are. <laughs> Um, how have your teammates responded? Do you think they're as grateful to be Americans as you are? I mean, my teammates actually, you know, were really happy for me because they knew the struggle that I had the last, you know, six years. Uh, you know, it was a funny joke in the beginning because they were calling me Mr. Freedom and now it became a reality. <laughs> but uh, I think my teammates were like the, the one that, you know, was my, like my brothers, you know. Um, it was just so amazing because their support gave me so much hope and motivation to fight and fight for what's right. So I definitely give a lot of credit to my teammates. It seems like people who move here from countries that are not free appreciate the freedoms here much more than a lot of us who grew up with those freedoms. Does, have you noticed that? You know, I feel like I'm going to just say this and I'm going to be honest. People should feel really blessed and lucky to be in, this, be in, uh, be in America because you know, they love to criticize it, but when you live a country like Turkey or, or, you know, China or somewhere else, you will appreciate the freedoms you have here. Yes. You know, that is exactly so I feel like they should just, please, they, they, they should just keep their mouth shut and stop criticizing the greatest uh, nation in the world. And they should focus on, you know, the, their freedoms and their human, human rights and their uh, democracy. So this is, America gave me everything I have. So I, I definitely appreciate uh, the United States of America. That's how I feel. We're putting up a picture of one of your sneakers on the screen here. Tell us what this is. What's, what's on there? <laughs> Uh, I cannot see the picture right now, but if you tell me what it is, I will tell you the story about it. It says, f f one says, free something. My eyes are bad. So, oh, free the Uyghurs. Stop genocide. Mm -hmm. um, Stop I genocide and rape this, slave you know. labor. Yes. Yep. Uh, well, obviously, uh, you, know, you know, someone had to do it. I'll be honest with you. There are so many, you know, athletes, so many actors, so many celebrities out there who are scared because if they criticize China, obviously they will be affected. You know, their endorsement deals, their um, contract or their, you know, their money will be affected and they're scared to say anything. But to me, you know, human rights, democracy and freedom is way more important than everything they can offer me. You know, morals, values, and principles are the most important thing in life. So to me, I wanted to stand up for my Muslim brothers and sisters who are in, you know, concentration camps are getting tortured and raped every day. And I don't care whoever said which organization or which company, I don't care about any of that. I care about to be the voice of all those innocent people out there who don't have a voice. Oh. If you have any siblings, tell them to come, please. <laughs> And it's freedom. <laughs> Great to see uh, you tonight. Well, Amazing. Hey. hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.